object snap causes the cursor to snap to precise locations on objects and is essential to creating accurate drawings. For example, you can use object snaps to create a line to the center of a circle or to the midpoint of another line. For example, when it is zoomed out so that you can see this entire floor plan, this drawing looks pretty good. But when you zoom in to get a closer look at the lower left corner of the drawing, you can see that the lines were not created accurately. Some lines are too short and some lines overlap. Whoever created this drawing did not use object snaps. And if you do not use object snap, your drawing is likely to contain inaccuracies such as these. Using object snap is actually quite easy. You can specify an object snap whenever you are prompted for a point. For example, start the line command and then move the cursor near the end of the line. A marker and tooltip are displayed to let you know that the program has found the end point of the line. This feature, called Auto Snap, provides visual confirmation that indicates which object snap is in effect. For example, the marker for an endpoint object snap is a square. There are several ways you can specify an object snap. In this example, the object snap was activated automatically as soon as you started the command. This is called a running object snap. When you need to use one or more object snaps repeatedly, you can turn on running object snaps so that they are active whenever you use a command. To toggle running object snap on and off, click the object snap button on the status bar. You can also toggle this on and off by pressing the F3 key. To control which object snap modes are active when running object snap is toggled on, click the adjacent arrow to display a menu showing all of the available object snaps and choose the ones you want to be active. For example, right now only the endpoint object snap is active. You can also specify an object snap anytime the program prompts you to specify a point. This is called an object snap override. As its name implies, an object snap override takes precedence over any running object snap and stays in effect only for the next point that you specify. You can specify an object snap override by choosing from a shortcut menu or by typing the name of the object snap. For example, start the line command again, then press shift and right click to display the object snap shortcut menu and then choose midpoint. Now move the cursor over the upper line. Even though endpoint is still active as a running object snap, the program ignores that and instead finds the midpoint of the line. Click to select the midpoint of the line and then move the cursor over the lower line. Since the midpoint was a one-time object snap override, the program reverts back to the running object snap mode and finds the endpoint of the line. 